Okay, so I really had to make this video. I was really excited about Cycles X uh, with an RTX 3090. I was very curious to see just how much faster it could be. And oh my god, are you familiar with real speed? Because I wasn't. They already were fast enough. So as you can see, this is 2.92 right here. And I've got this little ship scene that I was kind of messing around with. Right, right away, I'll just show the difference right in the viewport having the viewport denoising on and just working on this right away you can already see that there's a little bit of noise on the water here uh, i hope with youtube compression you can see that uh, now let me open up 3.0 with the cycles x branch uh, as you can see right here and look at that same exact shot no noise and wait till you see the speed on this this is incredible so when i first got this card i came from a 970 so it was quite the upgrade for me and just being able to do this right here like, look at that. That's essentially real time. You know, there's this weird little, you know, denoising thing going on where it looks a little finicky when you move it, but who cares? Like, that's already fast enough. Well, apparently they disagree, and Cycles X is even faster than that. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? That's amazing! That's so fast! Like, I'm, I'm floored. Here I am, moving a boat around, in essentially real time. Also, quick note, besides the 3090, the rest of my computer specs are not that big a deal. I have a pretty old PC now, an i7 5820K processor, and 32 gigabytes of 2400 speed RAM. So nothing too crazy here, just the 3090 at work. Now, obviously this is an outdoor scene, so it's a lot easier to light than an indoor scene, but a speed increase is a speed increase, so. <laughs> I just love this. I just, I can't get over how fast I can work now. I can spend time being creative. Cycles X is incredible. And that's just the viewport performance. Now let's take a look at uh, final rendering performance as well. Uh, I also want to note that both of these scenes are at HD uh, and auto tile size is on 2.92 as a plugin. So you know that it's the fastest tile size it could be. Uh, on 3.0 with Cycles X, it doesn't use tiles. Uh, it's only progressive. So just keep that in mind. And they're both on optics. I've noticed that with optics, you don't see as much of a performance gain, uh, just for this scene in particular. But with uh, open image denoise, you definitely do, which is really good because some people prefer to use that. And before it was much slower than optics. It's, it's twice as fast. Just keep in mind that optics can also be twice as fast. It's just this scene in particular that it's not. So let's just see what the render times are with optics enabled on both. So this is 2.92 on a 3090. All right, so as you can see, that took uh, eight seconds, uh, 8.6 seconds. So let's do the same thing, but now in 3.0. All right, 7.71 seconds. And obviously this varies, guys. Like, you can keep doing this all day and it'll be a little bit different, but it beats it every single time. So that was 7.71. We could even run it one more time and see if it gets to that first pixel a little bit faster. All right, so yeah, 7.48. So it's about a second faster. So like I said, optics isn't as noticeable. change that to open image denoise see what the speed is on that so 2.92 open image denoise instead of optics still going still going as you can see it's much slower very good image though all right as you can see that took 20.98 seconds and this is where you see the huge increase guys so this is 20 pretty much 21 seconds so let's go to 3.0 let's change this render to open image denoise and let's hit it so we got to beat 21 seconds done eight seconds 8.65 seconds <laughs> Oh, that's so nice. So anyone out there who wants to use open image denoise and not optics, 
you're gonna want to use cycles x that just beats uh, old cycles by by more than half and with optics you don't see as much of a difference but we might if we bump it up right so if we put it to optics and then maybe make the render 256 samples instead so here's 2.92 We'll see if it scales up the more you try to denoise it. All right, so 12 seconds for 2.92 and <laughs> 10 seconds for 3.0. So, you know, it seems as you go up, you're getting another extra second or so, two seconds or so, three. But it looks like viewport performance and uh, open image denoise are clear winners for Cycles X. So I, go I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, download the Cycles X branch right now, <laughs> especially if you have an older card. Uh, I'm pretty much just showing off a 3090, but even with an older card, you're getting such a huge performance increase. So yeah, if you want to see more Blender videos, I'm certain to actually use Blender a lot more. Uh, I used to use Maya a lot. Yeah, time to jump ship, pun intended, start using more Blender. So yeah, subscribe if you want to see some more cool Blender things. I'm planning on making a lot more videos now that I have this card. Thank you for your time.